right? Well done, Daniel, back in the Australian Open semifinals. Ubi has always been a tough opponent for you. What do you think made the difference in the final set? Ooh, tough. Uh, I mean, I knew how Hubi can play, and in my opinion, he played quite well today. I felt like the games, almost all of them, probably except the 2 0 in the first set, I felt like every game I had a small chance, I managed to, to take it. So, really, really happy and proud about that because, yeah, on, uh, with him, you don't get many chances. Could I play a little bit better on my serve? I don't know why, but my serve doesn't doesn't bother Hubi uh, as much as uh, other players. Like I feel like other players probably don't really like me to play. I serve aces, I, uh, they don't break me a lot. Hubi returns almost every of my serve and stuff like this. So tough matchup, but uh, that makes it me even happier to win uh, and uh, be in the semis. Congratulations, did he feel, do you feel like he was testing you at the net? What do you mean? What do you mean? Like coming forward, if you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, but Hubi, we know. He's uh, one of the best players on tour in this touch game. And uh, Wally, I think, in my opinion, he's, he would be somewhere top three at Wally. So I'm actually happy because I managed to win uh, some good points at the net. Uh, he managed to win some amazing one also. But uh, especially fifth set, I managed to, to do some good stuff uh, going to forward. So uh, again, really proud a lot of, uh, with a lot of things in this match and uh, looking forward. Daniel, um, 3.30 a.m. or 3.39 the other day, five sets, this one in the heat, five sets. How, how are you feeling physically? Are you feeling okay? Do you feel, <laughs> or is you feeling a little bit knackered or what? It, always the same. Uh, I mean, 3.30, 3.30 was tough because uh, honestly with Felix, I was, I would say, 80% uh, of my physical abilities where usually you start 100 and then it goes down. When you're tired, maybe it goes down a little bit faster when it's hot. Today, I felt like right after the first set, I was at 80. But at least you start with 100. With Felix, I started with 80. Happy that managed to push myself and win it easier. Uh, but then, uh, yeah, after every match, I'm in the locker room. I'm destroyed. <laughs> but then we do a good job. And uh, one day off uh, is probably enough to feel good the next day. So. So far, uh, so good in the beginning of the matches, uh, and that's what matters. And then uh, try to win, and then if you're dead after, it doesn't matter because you have a day off. Congratulations, Daniel. Uh, Thank I you. would like to ask you about uh, Carlos Alcaraz, just in case he can be your, your rival. I don't know, what do you expect? Uh, what do you take from uh, US Open uh, semifinals? Uh, are you seeing him better here than, than US Open? Better tough to say because uh, Carlos always plays good. In my opinion, it's uh, it's for sure. Uh, some weeks you are even like on fire more, and then you win a Grand Slam. Some weeks you maybe can miss uh, in some important moments, but uh, he's always a good player. Uh, let's see because first of all, I think they have an interesting match. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. Uh, and for sure, I'm gonna serve myself with this uh, U.S. Open match, but him too. I'm going to try, you know, to make his life tough. Uh, in Nito, I didn't manage to kind of do what uh, what I wanted to do. But honestly, I know the season I was uh, quite uh, mentally mentally tired, but him probably also. So not an excuse, but uh, I'm going to try to to do my best, uh, no matter who the opponent. But if it's Carlos, try to, yeah, try to um, uh, bring something at him. Is it your expectation you'll be scheduled to play the, the Friday night semifinal, given Novak and... Yannick played yesterday. Just even more I, I think it's recover. it's even sure. I think it's like kind of uh, done in the schedule, like before the tournament, if I'm not wrong. Uh, so fine for me. I don't know if it's hot or not. Uh, but actually here in Australia, what is what I find a little bit uh, surprising, it could be 20 or 30 degrees and for sure 30 is tougher. But when the sun is out, it doesn't really matter what's the weather. It's just hot, I feel like. <laughs> because with Borges, uh, the air was, I think, was like 20 or 21. But I was also s still suffering under the sun. So uh, night, uh, night is fine. And probably, uh, I guess, uh, the way the schedule, because it's only two matches, it's not going to be possible that it goes starts at 11, unless they play seven hours, which I doubt. Uh, so yeah, looking forward. You were talking uh, on the court about feeling tired here, feeling more energy here. Is there any rhyme or reason to that with you, or is it just like, do you ex expect 
to feel a certain way at a certain point in the match? It seems like you were describing sort of these ups and downs, and do, do you do you feel like exhaustion coming, or how does it work? Yeah, that's I, I have no idea. The thing is that I uh, maybe I should dig into it more because we try very hard with my team to put myself at the hundred percent of my abilities, and I think we do it. And for me, the question is: uh, Is it maybe something where you have to work like? from 14 years old till 20 years old, really hard on your aerobic, uh, physical, whatever. Um, why I say it? Because sometimes I see some guys, I think Hubi for me is one of them, and I see them play five set matches, seven, six in the, in the fifths. They seem fine, you know, in the locker room. They just seem fine. I'm like, wow, I, I, I do. And uh, he, he, did he look good? Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. And either maybe it's a question of uh, metabolism and uh, it's genetics. I honestly have no idea. I know that I get tired. I fight my best. We work with my team to, to make me able to, because if uh, probably everyone works hard, but I know that what I started doing with my team since I was 20, Two, I guess, or 23 years old when I decided to be more professional, etc. If I didn't do it today after third set, I'm done. Like I could probably retire. I, uh, when I played against Novak first Davis Cup, I started cramping three, uh, I think, 1-0 in the second set. I won the first. I had a break 1-0. Then I made 3-0, but at 1-0 I was already cramping. And then I literally fall down on the court and retired. So yeah, I'm trying my best, and uh, I would love to be someone who is not really tired, doesn't care about the heat, but that's not me, uh, but I try to win as I can. Daniel, just in terms of your service games, you've been broken 18 times this tournament, but at the same time, does that give you confidence that perhaps you haven't been serving at your best and you've reached the semifinals? And is there anything you've got to do differently, you know, whether it be Alcaraz or Zverev on serve? Yeah, I should. We should see because I see Novak. I think got a lot of broken. Also, it's maybe something with the balls, uh, the court, the Rod Laver Arena. Since I played it the first time, there was one side against the wind. Very tough to like. I think uh, if I would not be mistaken, I think I lost all the serves on this side uh, today. So it's a very tough side to to serve because uh, unless you serve to twenty like Kubi, uh, basically it's much easier to return from there, and you always put pressure on your opponent. So. I'm not really too much um, uh, uh, sorry, I forgot the word. I'm not wor worried. I'm not really too much worried about this, especially when you win matches. I feel like I'm actually serving good. Uh, so yeah, uh, but yeah, good that I managed to be in the semis getting broken 18 times. I think that's good.